The French Revolution was fought between 1789 and 1799. It was an uprising of the commoners to overthrow the old monarchy of France. There were many causes of the French Revolution, including ideas spreading from the Enlightenment, food shortages throughout France, the American Revolution, and the estate system. The estate system was a kind of social hierarchy in France. The first estate was the king and the clergy. This estate had the most power. The second estate was the French nobility, who had a lot of money. The third estate was the commoners, the lowest estate. This estate lived in hunger and poverty. La Revolution The French economy was in a bad state, so the king had an idea. He would tax the commoners. As we know, taxing commoners has gone well before in history. <laughs> American Revolution. Anyways, the commoners got mad. Like, really mad. This is how the revolution started. The French Revolution is split into four parts. The first part of the French Revolution was the National Assembly, which took place between June 17th of 1789 to September 29th of 1791. It was a major part of the French Revolution. The common people of France, the Third Estate, demanded the king to ensure the people had food to eat by improving France's economic status. The second part of the revolution was the Radical Revolution. The Radical Revolution took place between 1792 and 1794. The commoners of France revolted against the old monarchy of France. The commoners of France stormed the Bastille Fortress, marking the beginning of the war and the end of the old monarchy. The Reign of Terror took place between September 5th of 1793 and July 27th of 1794. France's revolutionary government ordered the execution of thousands of people who they thought were loyal to the king. After countless battles, the commoners won. On January 21st of 1793, King Louis was executed. This marks the beginning of the third part of the revolution, the Directory. The revolutionary government adopted a universal declaration which states, All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. The peace created by the Directory would not last long as we enter the fourth part of the revolution, the Age of Napoleon. A military commander named Napoleon Bonaparte seized control of the revolutionary government and declared himself emperor. While the purpose of the revolution was to end a monarchy, it is ironic that it ended with an emperor. Despite this fact, the French Revolution was still a major turning point in both European and world history. And now, a poem by Sumer Chaudhry. The King of France was starting a romance with Marie Antoinette who did little to relieve their growing debt. She bought many unneeded commodities and many strange oddities. Their money was disappearing and their people were dying, and yet all the while, they continued their extravagant lifestyle. The kingdom of France was an economic collapse. The king and queen were all fearing, for all they were hearing was all your people are dying. There's no bread to be buying, yet all she said was let them eat cake. When they heard that, they thought she was fake. They bought pitchforks and torches, chopped heads and made corpses. All for their heads, they yelled, as the guillotine fell. The former king and queen of France, who ended their romance, for they were dead because of their bread. Of course, some years later, France acquired a new dictator. His name was Napoleon Bonaparte, and that's what sets France apart. Spider pig, spider pig. Does whatever a spider pig does. Can he swing from a web? No, he can't. He's a pig. Look out, he is a spider pig. No stick figures were harmed in the production of this.